uh, I was tired of Skip Bayless. And I, I'm saying that honestly. I was just going to ask you what it's like to wake up with with Skip Bayless. Does it does it, it just it's too much? Is it just too much, Woody? Well, the way you said it, that I woke up with Skip Bayless. I didn't. Wake <laughs> up. I wouldn't wake up with Skip Bayless. I'll I'll, I'll tell you one story that was toward the end of it. Uh, I got so tired of working with him, and it it it, it was interesting because he genuinely would. Uh, I don't take myself or sports that seriously. He genuinely believes in what he says. But we had a conference call as we did every morning at 3.30. So we did set the objectives for the day because it was, we, we would meet shortly after most of the games had finished playing, and obviously. And one morning, Jay Crawford, who was the, one of the hosts of the sure. show said, Okay, guys, we have this funny uh, question to end the program. Uh, golf Magazine says that uh, golfers, and you play golf. Yep, absolutely. Golfers would give up sex for an entire year if they could improve their handicap by four strokes. <laughs> what about you, Woody? And I said, there are a lot of years I've given up sex, and I didn't improve <laughs> my <laughs> And I said, sure I would. Yes, in a minute, I would give up sex for a full year. If I could go from, I was about till this day. You stand by that till this day. You would still take off a year of sex for four strokes on your handicap. Oh, absolutely. Now, no doubt about it. At the time, I was about a twelve or 13. okay. Now I'm about a sixteen or seventeen. So yeah, sure. Would you? I'm asking you. At this juncture in my life, I don't think so. Maybe when I get to my fifties or or something, and I'm I, I you know I've had enough sex to kind of be tired of it, then that I would do it. But I don't think right now. So anyway, that was my answer. They turned, there were about 10 people in the room, producers, interns, uh, directors. And they said to Skip, would you give up sex for, I don't know that I've ever told this story. Oh, really? Would you give up sex for a year to improve your golf game? And he said, I have a great golf game. He said, I've had more sex than anybody in this room combined. Yeah, there's 10 people in the room. You've had more sex than everybody combined and there wasn't any laughter or anything. He wasn't being funny. He was being serious. And and the producer of the show at the time said, uh, that's not the answer we want you to give on the air. You know, give something else. So we go on the air. We're live. That show was live in the morning for two hours. It was like the Today Show, a sports version of the right, Today yeah. Show. And so we come we're toward the end of the show, and they said, okay, what do you got a funny story here? Uh, Golf Magazine. Da, da, da would you give up sex for a year? And I told him the same story. I said, of course I would. Yes. In fact, I'll give up sex for two years if I could improve it by six strokes in handicap. And so that Jay turned to Skip and said, would you give up sex for a year if you could improve your golf game? And he said, I've had more sex than Woody's ever even thought about. <laughs> so I got up, we were at a sort of a- This is on live day. TV, right, Woody? Yeah. So I got up and I went over and I started choking him. That's not a good thing to bring up, but I, I grabbed him by the throat and honestly he was he worked out every day he was in a lot better shape than me I did a lot of, a lot of drinking in New York and uh, hanging out in bars that uh, argument got into a fight that ended up on the floor you can look at it find it on YouTube and close by was a door to eighth and 34th Street in New York City, and we kind of opened the door and just went outside. This is like and a scene I, out of Rocky. And we could hear the producer director, and they said, let it go, let it go. And so we're like tumbling into the street on live television doing this uh, doing this fight. And, and I was genuinely upset with him because they told him, don't do that, and I'd had enough. It sounds like you were genuinely, you took him out to 8th and 34th Street. Woody, was that the was that the end of the show? Did you guys have to come back on? No, that was the end of it. <laughs> and for people who are familiar with New York, that's like a block and a half from Empire State Building and Macy's. Okay? So we were we were out basically on the street, cops coming up, uh, cameras around. <laughs> it was funny end of our relationship, basically. So was that. it known then on the show that you and Skip? didn't like each other. Did you guys try and hide it or you pretty much let your feelings fly? That's it. That's nobody's ever asked me that because uh, you're not old enough and nobody uh, paying attention to this podcast. 
but I could never understand why the Beatles broke up, that Paul and John didn't like each other at the end. More famous when I was a kid was Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, yep. who were the biggest. Pretty good comparisons here, Woody. Well, we certainly weren't in that category, but we were doing a national, we were doing a, like three national TV shows, and I was doing a show at night called Dream Job. Yeah. If you ever, if you did that with Stuart, Stuart Scott, right? Yeah, Stu Scott was the uh, was the host. I was on it with Stephen A. Smith. Sure. We were judges, and it was kind of like American Idol, their version of American Idol. The winner got to be a, an anchor person on ESPN for a year, and I think one of the guys is still with the ESPN network that we did. We did three seasons of it. But uh, anyway, Skip and I were doing these shows, and I was doing another show with a guy named Jay Mariotti. Sure, you know, yeah, you and Jay Mariotti used to hey, used to call him yeah. Dick. So, so Robbie, when you were when yeah, I called him Richard all the time. So when I die, would you come to the funeral and say he's the only guy that ever worked in history with Stephen A. Smith, Jay Mariotti, and Skip Bayless? <laughs> yeah. That's true. So so anyway, yeah, we didn't get along. We didn't get along. So. I finally got how people who were McCartney Lennon, how they broke up, that you, it's like a marriage. So is it safe to say when Skip Bayless makes the move to Fox, that didn't affect your day at all? You were almost happy. I, I called my daughter and I said, you know, if I just stuck with Skip, because uh, he got, I think, six and a half million dollars. And truthfully, yeah. I, never made, I never made that kind of money in my life. And I said to my daughter, I said, if I had stuck with Skip, I'd be now on Fox making six and a half million dollars. She said, no, dad. And my daughter's an adult. She said, one of you would have been dead. 